Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So this is the Happy Model ES24TX Slim Pro. So this is the Express LRS external module that's going to go on to my Zorro. So the Radio Master Zorro that I have has a 4-in-1 built-in module, and then this will go on the back of it. So I'll be able to run all of my quadcopters. And as you know, if you've been following the channel, as the hobby dollars come in, I'm able to uh, update my receivers and remove my RXSRs and my XM pluses. So that's kind of what I'm in the middle of doing here. I will have a playlist of everything that I do with the Zorro. So I'm going to have unboxings of everything that I'm going to be going through, some tutorials on binding and flashing firmware, uh, how to flash the RXSR with your Radio Master, because there's a lot of binding flies out there with the RXSR. So Definitely going to be going through that. Let's go ahead and uh, get into this. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to open this up. What's in here? What do you get? Uh, how does it fit on the radio? How much does it weigh? How does it fit in the carrying case? Uh, things of that nature so that I can continue on with uh, getting things set up. And then I'll probably be doing a video on this uh, flashing firmware and stuff like that. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell for those to come. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this little dude and see, see what it's all about. So stay tuned. So we'll go ahead and get this opened up and remove the tape. Nothing really on the back. And there's nothing in here to keep this from flopping around. There's no foam or anything. So the module's in a static, little static bag. Uh, looks like you get the Express LRS. This is the 2.4 gigahertz version. And get a, get a little antenna for that. You do want to make sure that that antenna is on your module before you power up your radio because it'll burn it up. Little stickers. I assume there's a... Okay, so that's probably your manual. Okay, website, official Facebook group. Where's the manual? <laughs> there's never a manual. Uh, looks like you get a new little sticker so the LED can shine through it. I don't know if that's a lens in there. If you know what this is, in comments, let me know. I, I I got another one of these with the other module that I have. Uh, so anyway, little dust cover. Got your SMA connector. This will be your SMA female and your SMA male. Yeah, you definitely want to have this uh, screwed on to your module when you power it up. You'll burn this module up. Oh, it's all metal. I can feel how cold it is all the way around. Looks pretty good. So on this module, um, I, I was told that this thing's quite power hungry, that this thing gets pretty warm. So I wanted to make sure that I powered my radio from an external source. So I don't have any 18350 barrel uh, batteries in here so those compartments are empty just to kind of save weight there's no use in having them on there i've already checked the radio during the unboxing video that it does have an internal uh, battery supply so you're not losing settings and of course you get this uh, little little dude here so you can plug it into an external source and i already run a 5200 ma pack for my light uh for my goggles because I like to, you know, I mean, it's an all day fly event. I want to DVR some things. So, uh, the battery would just die so quick on me and I was tired of charging it all the time. So that's the way I got that. So this radio can handle 2S only, and this is a 2S battery and that's how I'm powering it. So I shouldn't have any issues whatsoever of, how, you know, draining the battery so much. Uh, I know that a lot of guys are putting a little backpack battery right here in the back. Um, but I'm already running that one. So we'll go ahead and put this on the radio after we get a weight. Let's kind of see how much, because I'll be honest with you, this thing weighs quite a bit. I have the uh, the exact same one. This is the Pro as well, and this is for the TX-16S. This is a JR module. Um, there's a lot of history in JR, but we're not going to get into that in the video of how this came about and the shape and everything. So you can see the size difference between the JR and the Pro. And let's get a weight. 
in case you already have that one. I was kind of surprised, really, when I was holding the when I was holding on to this case. I thought, man, that thing's kind of heavy. All right, so the JR module style is fifty eight thirty eight. 5584 that that surprised me i thought this thing was going to be hopefully with it being metal it'll uh extract the heat a lot better uh just because you don't have as much air space around inside cuz this thing here there's quite a bit of air space and there's also a big heat sink inside um i haven't opened this up yet so i'll, I'll probably look at the internals of it eventually looks like there's a usb c no, that's a, just a USB, uh, micro USB on the side of it. And, and nothing else. No buttons, no nothing. So, I'm going to pop it into the back of the radio here. Not sure if that... All up weight, 416 grams. Which is a fraction of my uh, Radio Master TX-16S. Go ahead and pop this dude on the back here. Looks like it's kind of a midway. Pretty tight. It's not wanting to like clip in too easy. There it went. I don't like hearing the cracks and pops to make that happen, but at least it's secure and it's not going to come off there. You can basically hold the radio up with it. Um, so this kind of wallers around. Looks like because this edge is kind of an angle, it does want to sit. So it just teeter totters on that, on this angle point right here. So uh, this one here, I, I was kind of wondering what the fitment would be, be like because this one I had to take a file and shave like a bunch of plastic off here I had to get inside here and shave plastic because these would not clip on to the radio this thing was uh quite something I had to modify it quite a bit and shave a lot of plastic off in here too so after shaving that I finally got to clip in nice and snug and uh before this one here was in it wouldn't it would just kept it just kept popping out uh, so I'll save that and I'll save this. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, just so you know, just for you know your information, I've taken the EP1 receiver and I've put it. I've put that into one of my super duper mega ultralights. So one of these bad boys. This thing is absolutely wicked. 230 grams all up with a 4S lipo on it. I've got a full build video. Eight. It's in a playlist. There's like eight or nine videos to get everything you need to know to build one yourself. This thing is really wicked. But I took the RXSR out of it. So I've been phasing these RXSRs out. Uh, the XM Plus RXSRs, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced the hype is real. The, e, the Express LRS is, is much better. Because um, I flew this quite a few times with the RXSR and then I put the EP1 in there and it was just a very buttery. I don't know how else to put it. But I do have a video on how to update the module, how to update the receiver, uh, get everything working correctly. So that's like a 50 minute video of, of removing, how to remove this. So in case you have a bind and fly, how to take that out, how to solder this in, the wiring, pin out, all, all of it. It's all in there. If it's not in there, let me know in comments. But uh, so that's something for another video. Uh, so we have our module on here. Um, just kind of looking at, I mean, it really, it does uh, get my middle fingers here, but not too bad. Added a little bit of girth to it. I don't think I'll even really notice it's on there. It does give it a little bit more weight, that's for sure. Uh, I have the AG01 gimbals already. I'm not going to put them in. I'm going to fly this first, kind of proof these uh, stock gimbals and then put the AG01s in and then say, you know, is it really worth it? So that video will be coming maybe 
hopefully it wouldn't take more than a month to get a few hundred packs on these and then a few hundred packs on the AGO ones and see what see what I think about the difference. Let me grab the carrying case. I was kind of interested here to see if this thing would even fit down in here with that on. You can see here, not all bent up. And I have a, I have an unboxing of this case in case you're wanting to know. It'll be in the playlist. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on and see what's, uh, see what that, see what that fan sounds like. So I have a dummy model in here. So if I go to my models and I go up to the Zorro, this is going to be my dummy model. This will be the one that I kind of do all kinds of stuff with. So we need to go into that model pretending that it's a real model and slide up here to the external module. Let me make sure the internal one is off because that's the four in one internal module that's in here. And then the external module, we can switch that to the, uh, correct correct one it's all alphabetical so crossfire is the uh, mode that you want because it runs off of a crossfire I'm not sure how they do that but uh, baud rate 400k is what I plan on going with and 500 Hertz um, and then we can go into the uh, system and then go to Express LRS that's the uh, firmware that's on the external module it should uh, go through all of its things. So we can go down here. So I want 500 packet rate because I'm going to be flying mostly racing right in front of myself. Whoop racing. The Super Duper Mega Ultralights, I, I really enjoy just listening to it. So I fly really close to myself. If you're going to do some range, you might want to drop that down a little bit. Um, in that video, I explain a lot of those things. But it really is like a uh, several days of reading. A uh, couple weeks for bed it's a really good website so enjoy that um, the power so we have 100 milliwatt and 250 milliwatt 50 25 500 1000 so you could you know push a watt out of this thing and the fan threshold is 250 now I'm I'm running 100 milliwatt because I'm right in front of myself, there's no reason to you know gobble up all the juice. Um, I haven't flown with a lot of guys with Express LRS, so they're not really stomping on me to where I'd have to go up to 250. But I do want my fan on. I would like to have my fan on at 100, so I can go ahead and return here. Go ahead and return here. Hold on, hold down out there. Oh, that fan is really tiny. I can barely hear it. I'm holding it about two inches away from the microphone here. Oh yeah, I can feel the breeze coming off of it. So the fan's pretty powerful. And this thing is connected really tight. I mean, it it would uh, make, make me a little anxious trying to pull it off of there. And then you can see here the LED is lit up through there. Huh, that's interesting. You hear that? That'd be the fan kind of moving up and down on its own shaft. Uh, so yeah, looks pretty good. Go back to the system here and go into our... So we can connect it Wi-Fi. Bind it up. I don't have to mess with binding now. So if you set that flat on the thing, that's kind of dumb. If you set your radio flat down on it, it literally is on the fan. So if you set your radio down on a flat surface, it literally covers up the fan. Um, okay. What do you think about that in comments? It, it lays flat right on it and suffocating it. There's no way to really have the radio in an angled position. I imagine, you know, there's some mounting points here. You can put some sort of bracket across it, which I might be looking for something like, I don't know if they even have something like that. 
Well, it'll it'll uh, it'll be interesting to see what the range is and what the uh, what it's like to control the radio. You know, as far as you know, the link quality between the external module and the quadcopter, if it'll match the TX16S. You know, is it is it going to be very similar to this one, or is or is it going to not? I really don't like that that fan. You put that down and it suffocates the fan completely. Let's bump this dude up. Might as well, you're here. Let's go over here to the power and, and go ahead and push it up to the... Let that run for a minute. Yeah, I really like the form factor of this thing. When I when I grabbed a hold of this radio at one of the races, uh, I was kind of messing with it for a while. I don't, I can't remember if he had to tap me on the shoulder and say, "Hey, man, I need, I need my radio back." And I thought, man, I'd like to have one of them someday. The nice thing is, is I don't have to move my hand around to get. For me, with the with the TX16S, I have to actually move my hand to get into that upper corner on both sides. And on this one here, it's it's I don't have to move my hands around at all. They they grab a hold of you know basically just naturally grabbing the radio. Uh, there's really no other position I would want. It's right there every time. Um, if you've flown for any amount of time, you know when you move your hand while you're in the middle of a race or you're in the middle of doing something, it, it messes with you. Uh, for me, with the TX-16S, I was constantly moving my hand around, and I think this is just going to be something that I like better. I mean, it's a little bit warm, for sure. I don't know what that would be like. I, I know that right now I'm at about my ambient temperature is around 74 degrees. And I don't know if it was a real hot day out, but you definitely want to be careful not to set that down on something and suffocate it. There's got to be some sort of uh, mounting point here on both sides that there's some sort of bracket to keep this up off the table so it doesn't overheat. But yeah. Hey, let me know in comments if there's anything you'd want to know more about this um, or basically any of the videos that you see, say something in comments, let me know what you think or what you might want to know. Not too bad. So if you have any questions about the external module, uh, let me know in comments. I'll try to get those answered. Uh, if this answered your questions, you found it informative, entertaining, or any of that, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you hated it, you give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.